To most people, sex is a game. But to me, it's much more than that. It's serious business, baby. And an art that I've worked very hard at skillfully mastering. And if I do say so myself, I'm pretty damn good. That's right, ladies, for $2,000 a night, I promise you the time of your life. Oh, I can entice you, dice you, lick you, split you. Or perhaps you might want to be touched and massaged in all the right places. Them special places. Or maybe you might want me to go a little bit deeper and turn your chill into a fever and knock one out the park after dark. I can do that too. I ain't lying. However, I must confess for anything less, she will not get my best. You see, my price is right, because we're not talking about a two-minute affair. I'm going to make it last all night. I'm going to give you what you want when you want, when you need it, every time you feel you need it. All you got to do is call me. Call me. Yeah. And all the fellas want to know, they ask me, man, what do you do? Do you stroke their egos? I tell them, no, no, why you busy pleasing them so, so, I give them just enough to keep them coming back for more, more. <laughs> you see, it's a fact that when a woman meets a man that knows how to lay that oomph like that, they get addicted. And like Dr. Feelgood, I got the right tools to fix it. <laughs> yeah, call me your mechanic. No, better yet, call me your maintenance man, because I'm going to keep you tightened up. Yeah, everybody's always asking me, who am I, what do I do? Am I an actor, athlete, model, musician? Well, I tell them all that I sell real estate. <laughs> when the truth is, ladies, I'm your perfect date. You see who I am, what I am, and what I'm all about? The low down, the real deal directly from the horse's mouth. Well, I am every woman's fantasy. An all men's nightmare. I'm a gigolo. A sophisticated player making ends as a nightclub owner, dog. <laughs> it ain't a bad gig if you can get it. <laughs> Besides, it's either that or a job at the Rusty Rooster. And can't no man get no chicks dressed up like a rooster. <laughs> I don't know how the southern roosters do it. Cock the doodle doo! <laughs> Depends on how much you match the rooster got in it, dog. <laughs> so funny. What y'all in here laughing at? There ain't nothing much, Cool Breeze. We just talking over old times. Whoa, don't you look sharp. Hey, I'm trying to be like you. You know, you ought to sit in tonight with the band. And your boy hosting, dog. You gonna sing something for me or what, dog? Man, I wish I could, but not tonight. I'm working a full-time gig, and she's a real diva, this one. Demands all my attention. What can I get you? Melvin, it's been a rough night so far, man. Let me get a cold 45. <laughs> we don't have cold 45. I know, I know. Not up in here. Let me get a double of the usual things, Melvin. <laughs> Malcolm, let me, let me ask you a question, man. I mean, I know you're busy with all the women and, you know, being a separate of the flock and everything. You can't tell time in that overpriced watch you wearing this the second time you're late. Oh, man, I know I'm late, but you know I gotta be on my J-O-B when duty calls. And believe me, these crazy-ass women remind me on a daily why I'm allergic to marriage. Why is that? If it ain't PMS, it's EPT. When they asses are really ADD. 
I know what that is, dog. Addicted to the gig. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Cool Breeze. You just might have some powerful shit. Oh, he just got all these women mesmerized by his beauty and black car, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of duty calling, Mr. King made time to hang out with your boy. I don't believe you made time to hang out for a minute. What's up with that, huh? That's because some of us got to work, dog, unlike others. Okay, here the real deal. I ain't been spending enough time at home. I ain't even had to make a deal with Scent just to get out well, of hold, 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 Melvin, did you just hear him say what I think I heard him say? What? Scent? Yeah, what about As in model, T, nothing under the hood. See, he's stuck. The man didn't tie you down. Can't Talk to him, Melvin. Can't hang out with your boy. Stuck up ass. Keep uh, a brother in a show cold. Send me a time and tell me you're not dating her again. Shut up. That would be Hi, a yes. Hi, honey. Hey, baby, how are you? Oh, how are you? Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Treat daddy like that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 oh. Please, you two, you're making me ill. Go get a room. This is a club, not a hotel. Um, hi, how are you, Malcolm? I still see you have that same charming sense of humor. <laughs> hi, honey. You know I'm always happy to see you, though, right? Yeah, it's going be a long time no see, baby. Mm -hmm. So now tell me, what are you three handsome men talking about? Babe, we're just talking about old times. I don't know if I told you, but I owe a big part of my success to Melvin right there. Is that right? I mean, I wouldn't even think about the nightclub business to get me a job and get my car to found. Mm. Yeah, young blood, I was smarter. It was either that looking at your pitiful face around here every day. I just put you to good use. <laughs> <laughs> so, honey, have you told everybody the good news and everything? Well, good news. Well, Malcolm, um, we're engaged, darling. Pow! Two carrots, emerald cut in a platinum setting. Come on, somebody! <laughs> Oh, oh, so what do you think about that, Melvin? Well, I, I think it, it deserves a toast. <laughs> and what about you, Malcolm, I think darling. my date just walked up. Uh -huh. Hi, sweetie. Oh, mwah, good to see you. Looking you too, beautiful. Too. Look at Thank you. you sweetie. Let me introduce you to everybody. Everyone, this is Helen. Helen, this is Simon. That's Cynthia. And this is Melvin, the owner of the club. Oh, nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you. You came up just in time. Oh. We were just about to propose a toast. Oh, wonderful. I love spirits and cheer. What's the occasion? Well, darling, we just got engaged to Paul. <laughs> you like that? Oh, how sweet. It's cute, my dear. A little yellow, a few inclusions, but sweet. I always say modest jewelry is a rich man's humility. I just never learned to be quite so humble. <laughs> but as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. I would trade in all of my worldly possessions for a chance at true happiness. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We're ready to start the show. Uh, yeah. Eric, is that you? Helen, darling, how are you? Oh, I haven't seen you since the governor's ball. Yes, it has been entirely too long. Come meet my friend. Malcolm. Malcolm Tramell, my dear friend Eric. Hey, pleasure to meet you, guy. Likewise. <laughs> So, Helen, let's catch up after the show, shall we? Absolutely. Great. It's good meeting you again. You too, man. Well, everyone, I guess we're going to make our way to our seats. Nice meeting you all. Uh -huh. Go to that. Maybe I got one more act to introduce and we can get on down to the club, huh? Okay. Mm. You can do that. How you doing, Jackson Bill? Yes, sir. How's everybody doing today? Thank y'all so very much for coming out, man. It's such a pleasure for me to be here, and I think y'all know why. It's such an honor. Thank you so very much. Um, I, I want to say this real quick. We, and the thing I was talking about, paying attention to our kids, we do need to start paying attention to them a lot more because they are our future. Yes, they are. And we have to show them love, prosperity. <laughs> y'all know I don't care. I talk about anybody. I got my own problems. Y'all know, know I got a brother who's handicapped. <laughs> you, you already know. You already know. Don't act like you don't know. But you know what, though? My brother. Okay, let me show you. Let me, let me show you what be killing me about my brother, though. You know, cause he, uh... Now, don't feel sorry for him. Please don't feel sorry, because he a mean handicap. He be walking around the house like he be running things. And he be waiting for somebody to say something. One day I was in the living room and I was just call, I just called him and I said, Rodney, you got shh. Yeah, I don't know why he did it. And his favorite word, you, you don't want none, you don't want none. You, you, you don't want none, this, you don't want none, this, you don't want none. And handicapped people will talk about you. He had his little friends visiting one day, right? It's like six of them in the house. And I know they were talking about me. Cause one of, you know, and I can't be in the house, not with six handicapped. You can't let me see nothing like that. 
Now they in the house and I know when I'm talking about he he gonna look outside the circle. He nom, 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 nom. And one of them had like a little football helmet on. He gonna look at me, ha! Ah! So I got offended. I went over there and said, which one of y'all talking about, my brother? Yeah, you back on, you don't want none. You don't want none. And this other one over, this other one, this one, the one that had a little football helmet on, was talking about, <laughs> I don't know what he was saying. You win, you win, you win, you win, you win. All I know is when I left off, my tires were flat on my car and had a little handicap sticker on the door. Now, I don't know if they were trying to be funny by saying ha ha, but they misspelled it A H A H. So I don't know if they were trying to say ha ha. But I know they did it. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what else happened. Okay, I had to go to dentist one day to get some some work done on my tooth, and I don't know what happened. But when I had the work done, you know they gave me six shots of Novocaine, so you know I couldn't talk right. So I wanted to just call my mama and get some love. You know, I just wanted somebody to talk to. Now, be it that I called my house, my mama's house to talk to her. Now remember, I can't talk too well. Why did my brother answer the phone? I had to really handle. I said, when mom my ass, who is she? Who is she? I said, no, Ryan, you where mom my ass. He said, who is you, you motherfucker? Who is she? Who is she trying to talk about me? You don't want none, you don't want none. And I'm like, no, I went to the Disney. He said, Disney, what's your last name, Disney? What's your last name? So let me tell you what I did. Wait a minute, the story goes on. Hold up. While I take this, I took my brother to McDonald's one day, right, to get something to eat. Now, I pulled up, you know, the little parking lanes for the handicapped parking? Okay, I pulled up in the handicapped parking. I thought I could because he was with me. But it's apparently, it's meant for the driver. And I didn't know this, so I get out the car walking normal, just where, you know, like ain't nothing wrong. Why did this handicapped dude pull up behind me in the car and say, you ain't supposed to be parking now. You ain't supposed to be parking now. So I said, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He said, I ought to kick your butt, you ain't gonna be parking there. Why did my brother get out the car? He said, who, who you think you talking to? Yeah, yeah, you don't want none, you don't want none. Why did the other dude break down in the karate? He said, hey, yeah, hey, that's what I mean, that's what I've been talking about. That was, so my brother thought, you know, he'd been watching a little bit of Bruce Lee, so he thought he was the man. Now my brother got one leg shorter than the other, right? So he gonna try to kick the dude. He like, hey, come on with it. Come on, he like, ah. <laughs> that leg went right here. Man, it's the funniest thing you ever wanna see. That's why I'm saying we just gotta love each other, though. I feel, okay, I'ma stop, I'ma stop. <laughs> they do make the best choir directors, though, Doc. <laughs> okay, okay. And you will find them in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yes, you will. At the airport, checking your luggage. Let me tell you what happened one day. One day, me and Malcolm had to go to the airport out of Atlanta, right? And I had to get my bags on the belt. And I guess, you know, it had to be a screen, you know, in the x-ray machine. All of a sudden, we hear this voice come out of nowhere. Bag check, we got a bag check. Mm, don't worry about them, I know who they are. <laughs> You know, so he started offending me a little bit. I'm like, why you need to check my bag, partner? Cause we need to check your bag. <laughs> so I got a little mad with him. I like went in and check my bag then. <laughs> then he gonna say, who you hauling at? Who you hauling at? He started making me feel a little gay myself. I'm like, what? You ain't gotta be hauling at me. <laughs> then his little friend over in the corner tell me, like, kill it, Cletus. I'm getting ready to fight in the airport. You know, I'm, I'm out of the gutter. You know, I'm getting ready to throw him down. I get ready to swing him. He gonna do this. I don't know what this is, but he hit me so quick. I didn't see his hands moving like bam, and it was right back. He like, uh, don't run now. Uh, don't run. Uh, 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 don't run. He turned on me like the Matrix. He like, wait a minute, don't. Pow. Okay, y'all ready to continue on with the show? Thank y'all so much. Got your little Usher boy clothes on. <laughs> you tell me you came straight from church. Tell me you came from church. Tell me you did not go in your closet and you had time to change into something else. 
and you said, this is going to work. Please tell me you did not do that. Man, Lord, I mean, you know when she put out, she thought she was the one. You know how she walked to the mirror, let me get going here, over here to the mirror. You know, she got one of them big old Section 8 booties there. You know how they walk and the knees kick back, let me go on over here. Oh, yes, he looks so nice. No, you, you gorgeous, don't even worry about it. I'm just playing with you, okay? <laughs> wardrobe check. Uh-uh. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Uh-uh. I knew I was going to find something. Bruh, you right here in the green shirt. Look behind you. Look behind you. Look behind you. Yeah, he got on the same shirt you do. Oh, don't give each other a damn... Don't you it. Oh my God! Boy, y'all look like some nigger rainbows. <laughs> oh no, y'all didn't. Go ahead, yo, ghetto lifesavers. I just. <laughs> they got the same shirt. Wait a minute. Are y'all wearing the same kind of pants? Dude, oh no, y'all ain't got the same double knit pants on. Do y'all know each other? Tell me y'all don't know each other, dog. Tell me y'all don't know each other. Just having to be in the store at the same time, huh? Y'all walked in the lobby and said, <laughs> You the man, dog. You the man. Boy, that is funny to me. That's okay. Oh, my God. Same shirt, brothers. Good Lord have mercy. Let's go on and get this show started because I'll be here all day. Oh, Lord Jesus. What'd you say, baby? They what? They called each other? You know, that's why I voted for abortion. Because some people don't need to be around right about now. You know, I, I'm just playing, baby. I'm just playing. God damn, how y'all end up with the same church? Until y'all do right by me. Let's go and get this show started again. This next young lady I'm getting ready to bring up right now is going to be dancing to the song called Destiny. And it will be sung by the beautiful Lady Lachey. She's going to be dancing in the tradition of Alvin Ailey. Y'all please give it up for the gorgeous. There you go. Give it up for the beautiful Lady Lachey and the gorgeous Miss Antoinette Grayson.
stay home with me tonight because I know you Baby, I need look, you. I know, I know, baby, I know, but you know how it is on the 15th every month? The club's going to get paid and so do the club owners. I'm oh, like, but you're always saying that and you always have work to do, Simon, and I don't like it. Look, I am doing this for you. Besides, I know you want a bigger and clear diamond. Oh, please. This is just a symbol of our love, honey. I don't want our real love to be yellow and flawed. Ugh. Keep on turning me on. Sting it, baby. Yeah, yeah, you like that, don't you? Oh, yeah, take care of it then. Come on. Let the man me take care of it. I'm going to take care of it. Sin, I got to go now, baby. Come on. But tomorrow when I have some time off, I'm going to handle it. Simon, I'm leaving town tomorrow. I'm going to New Orleans. That's right, the essence That's special. right, and you can come with me, and we yeah, can make yeah. a vacation of it, and it'll be wonderful, yeah. okay? Go on a trip with you and your little loud-ass friend, Lisa. Yes, baby, please. <laughs> be out your mind. Look here. Oh. That is not my idea of a vacation. I said, I got to go and get this stuff Simon, started. you ain't got to go nowhere. What? You stop it right now. Now, you get on this bed, and you pull this ponytail out. Come you ain't going to let me go on. Come here, baby. Come okay. out. I okay. need you, you right you now. I'm going to take care come of Come on, baby. Come on. I got to go, Son, man. I ain't playing with you. Man. Now, look. I cannot continue to be with you like this and still feel lonely. I need to spend some time with you. Sin. We need to spend some time with you. <laughs> we need to spend some time with you. Sin, why are you what? tripping? <sighs> Baby, I'm only one man. Now I'm trying to do the best I can to give you the lifestyle that you so quickly become a... Oh. What's wrong with you? Ooh. Now look, I'm... Oh, Ooh. Ooh. oh you oh, tripping. shut your mouth. You shut your mouth right now. I ain't playing with you. You better shut up. He said you gotta go shut up. Let me know when you're done. I'll see you whenever you get home. Baby, I can't believe you're going to let me leave no, town. Not, I promise you. You're going to let me leave when town for I come home, I'm going to get all up in here and get it. Oh, I need sit, that. Sit, I need that. Sit, I need sit, that. Sit, I need that. Sit. I need that. Sit. I need that. I'll call you later. Oh, I got to get back in the show. <laughs> So glad this is over. Now we can get to a hotel and slip into something more comfortable. Nothing. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> the only time we have to do tonight is pillow talk. <laughs> Eric, darling. Helen, hey, I want you to meet my girlfriend, Antoinette Grayson. This is a good friend of mine, Helen Daniels. Hello, Miss Daniels. Pleasure meeting Lovely you. Lovely performance, dear. Why, Eric, wherever did you find her? She's simply breathtaking. You must bring to some of our gatherings. Why, as pretty as she is, you'll be on top of the A-list in no time. <laughs> oh, and speaking of A-list, I saw the mayor's bulbous wife out there, Gloria Spencer. You think someone in her position would have a trainer or a tummy tuck? And a doctor to fix that wandering eye. <laughs> I know. It's simply exhausting. I never know if she's looking at me or the refreshment table. Let's go be sociable, shall we? Let's. Great. Let's excuse you, dear. Yeah, just for a minute. Dear, I'm tired. Gloria, of darling, you look marvelous. How do you do it? You get a little bit of eye. Oh, I know. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> aren't they a pair? They are, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess under the circumstances, we're going to have to introduce ourselves, huh? It certainly appears that way, and you are? Malcolm. Malcolm Shamel. Malcolm. You know, Malcolm's a strong name, a very handsome name, if you don't mind me saying so. No, I don't mind you saying so at all. <laughs> I'm Antoinette Grayson, but my friends call me Tony. Okay, what should I call you? Hmm, check you out. Not only are you handsome, but you're quick, too. You may call me Tony. But, so, what did you think of my choreography? You know, Eric Rush oh. stuff. You do know what that is, don't yeah. you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tony, mm -hmm. we're on a first name basis. Yes, Malcolm. So I can keep it real. Please do. You choreographed that? Mm hmm. Ah! <laughs> it was I. Like... <laughs> Tough critic, huh? No, no, no. I'm just saying it would have been a bit more enjoyable if you had a more proficient accompanist. Oh, really? And what does someone as handsome as yourself know about the complexities of art, my dear? Well, well please walk and talk with me, my lady. I guess we have a moment or two. Don't fight the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Mm, please don't let my smooth Billy D. Williams statuesque physique fool you. Is that what that is? Yeah, by day I sell real estate, but by night I own the ivories. Mm, is that right? That's right, I'm the master. Mm. Yeah, look a little bit closer. You might recognize me. From where? I might have played a time or two before in your dreams. <laughs> you're pretty sure of yourself, huh, Mr. Master of the Ivory? But tell me something. If you're all that, how come you sell real estate for a living? <laughs> look at you, you're pretty quick yourself. Okay. Well, little. the truth of the matter is, is that I enjoy playing the piano probably more than anything on this planet. Is that right? Yes, I do. I even went to Juilliard for a while. Oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I thought about making it go to professionally, but there was this battle between my stomach and my uh -huh. music, 
And after two straight weeks of hunger, my stomach won. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you didn't give it a good fight, you know, where they don't call a starving artist for nothing. And when you're as passionate as you are about your music, there are no worries of food. You know why? Mm. Because the music will feed your soul if you let it. Mm, look at you. As deep as you are, beautiful. Thank you once again. Yeah, you're welcome once again. And I really respect that coming from an artist who looks like she hasn't missed a meal in weeks. Ooh, you calling me fat? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little junk in your trunk. I bet you get that from your mama, don't you? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All jokes aside, I really did enjoy your performance tonight. You were mm. magnificent. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. You know, I really got this song in my head that I keep hearing. I'd love for you to check it out sometime. I really think you could bring it to life. Really? Yeah, who knows? With your moves to my music, I might be able to do music full time and look as healthy as you. <laughs> well, do you have a card or something? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I do. I try to keep one of those on me from time to time. Get this up. If your boyfriend comes back, I don't want to think I'm out here jocking this woman or nothing like that. <laughs> Oh, no, he's not my boyfriend. Oh, he's not? Well, he used to be, but things didn't really exactly... Well, I should say they aren't. It's a long story. I have to tell you another time. No, no, man. Jesus, it sounds interesting. I love to hear it. I'll do that. Malcolm, darling, I'm sorry it took us so long. We got cornered by that stuttering Judge Martin. It takes that man an eternity to finish a sentence. If I were being tried in his courtroom, I'd object. On the grounds I wanted to be done while I still had a p -p -p pulse. He's horrible. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> You ready, Tony? Ready when you are, dear. Ready, Eric, ready. darling, it was so good seeing you. I hope to see you again soon. Yes, it was a pleasure seeing you as well, Helen. And I miss, um... Miss Grayson. Yes, of course, Miss Grayson. Pleasure meeting you too, Miss Daniels, once again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you, Eric. Yes, it was a pleasure meeting you as well. Miss Grayson. Good night, Mr. Tremell. Pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Good night. Well, what are you talking about? You should have left me there. Come on. You didn't want to talk to me. Reverend, I just want to thank you so much for pulling me out of that bar Because you know what you was right In this condition I'm in right now It ain't no telling what kind of trouble I could have got myself into tonight <laughs> Yeah, sister, so you know trouble has a way of sneaking up from behind And please, <clears throat> call me Jane Okay, Reverend I know it's always nicer to be on a first name basis and everything But talk to me first and tell me a little bit about yourself You look kind of young to be a minister You new to this church business Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a business But I am doing the Lord's work and not as young as I look. Uh -huh. I've been the pastor of the Pippinwood Baptist Church in Chicago for about five years. Is that right? I'm very familiar. Well, it's the fourth largest church in the city. I ain't talking about no church. I'm talking about Chicago. That's where I'm from. I know I recognize you. Yes. Channel 13. Channel 13. The news. The news. Ooh, I have to say, you're much more beautiful in person. <laughs> and ooh, I got to say, you're much more beautiful in person too, Reverend. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a lot more drunk than I thought I was. I understand. That just means that when you get back to Chicago, you'll pay a visit to my church and lay all your sins on the lawn. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Unless, you and your husband already have a church. No, 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 I'm not married yet. We just got engaged. Well, congratulations. What is the big day? Well, we haven't said a day yet. Why not? Isn't that the first thing lovebirds do after they become engaged? Well, I don't know if you can call us the typical lovebirds, Reverend. You know, I love Simon and everything. It's just that he's not, he's just not. He's, he's not the one for you? I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just call him a workaholic, that's all. I'm scared that I might spend the rest of my life living second behind his career. And that can be very hard on any relationship. No, 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 Reverend, please, don't get me wrong. I know I might sound selfish and everything. I support. Simon, I support him completely in his career, and I want him to do what uh, he need to do to be the man he need to be. It's just that, as his woman, he's just not, he don't spend no time with Sounds me. Sounds like he's, he's not satisfying your physical and emotional needs. <gasps> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just call it discernment. Okay, okay. Tell me something, have you ever tried counseling? Uh, have you ever tried prayer? Uh, have you ever tried showing up butt naked just oh, wearing body glitter and lip gloss? Reverend. Gotcha. Don't say something like that to me. You supposed no, to be I'm a just play. I'm playing. good because you I'm almost playing. made me lose my buzz. And we certainly don't want you to lose your buzz tonight. <laughs> okay. 
Seriously. Marriage can be a beautiful thing if you're with the right person, and I hope everything work out for the both of you. Well, thank you, Reverend. What about you? Are you married? Well, I'm proud to say that I am, happily. Really? How long have you and your wife been married? Well, I ain't married to a woman. Oh, I knew the Catholics had problems, but I thought the Baptists would at least hold it down for us. You no, no, nasty. No, 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 uh -uh, don't touch me. You nasty. You nasty. Don't touch me. What I mean what is... What you mean? I'm married to the Lord. <laughs> so what that feel like? Huh? Ooh, I mean, I don't know what that mean. I mean, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't do this, you can't do that. What? <laughs> let, me, let me explain it to you. I mean, let me see. See, I'm a man of the cloth, but I'm not made of stone. Okay. And I have the same wants, needs, and desires as other men do. Okay. And looking at you right now, sister, I don't see why any brother would be stupid enough to take a woman so alive. Mm -hmm. So vital and so fine for granted. For real? Mm -hmm. See, I know what it's like to be lonely. You do? Oh, yeah, because I live it every day. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, what? yeah. So I know what you're going through. Mm. And sometimes the Lord allows people to come together oh, to help each other through difficult times, to help each other feel better. So tell me. <laughs> what are you feeling right now, sister? Well, Reverend, uh -huh. your hand on my thigh. That, that, that's your thigh. <laughs> but oh, I didn't say I didn't like it, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, what? I love Simon. God knows I love Simon. But you're lonely. I'm so lonely. <laughs> And you're unhappy. I'm unhappy. Hey, 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 hey. And I don't want you to worry about nothing tonight, because James is here for you. No, it's not supposed to be James. It's supposed to be Cyber. No, I'm, I'm James. No, 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 Cyber. No, I'm, I need, I'm I need Cyber. Say James. No, no, Simon. Okay. Simon. All right, all right. All right. Simon. I'll be Simon. Simon. <laughs> Are you going to show me heaven on earth tonight? Well, I can't promise you that, but I will have you talking in tongues. Come mama, on, say on. mama, saw my mama. Come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> but I really got no time for this. I need to get down to the club, though. Boy, slow down. Yeah. Now, you move too fast, you miss what's happening in the world. Now, being successful in life isn't just about working harder, it's about working smarter. Knowing what's going to happen before it happens. You right as usual. Yeah. Last hand, man. <laughs> All right. You say, Cool Breeze, what's on your mind that's so heavy? <laughs> well, it got to be something heavy on my mind. I was actually throwing around some ideas for a new song I'm writing just for you. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Well, it's good to know that I'm important enough for a whole song. Let me hear it when you finish it. Now, what else is on your mind? Yeah. <laughs> Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. <sighs> Man, how do you know me so well? Don't you get it, Melvin? <laughs> Melvin's like a Jedi Knight. He's like the Yoda in the hood. <laughs> the Yoda of my ass. I ain't no little green frog looking motherfucker. Whatever, come with it. I'm like the Sam Jackson Jedi, yeah. Uh -huh. I'd be the only Jedi with a jerry curl and a lightsaber with... Uh -uh. Bad motherfucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know what that means. It means he cheated again. Yeah. <laughs> Got you again. <laughs> no, seriously, Malcolm. The reason why I know something is up is because you're like my son. I can feel your heart. I know you. Now, who is this girl that's got the world's greatest Mac Daddy's nose wide open? Man, how did you do yeah, that? Yeah, who got you down, Malcolm? Because you be going through women like the Wu-Tang Clan going through blunts. <laughs> well, that's just it. I think I finally found me one who's special, but I've been playing the game of women so long, I don't think I have a heart anymore. I'll be goddamn. What? <laughs> Your black ass is in love. Oh, no. You in love? Ain't nobody no. in no love, man. Oh. Ain't nobody in no love. Oh. Oh. Now me in love. Bullshit. I can see it right. Right down there. There you go, go right there. Tripping, man. Go don't on. be ashamed, boy. <laughs> Feel proud to join the ranks of us whooped ass brothers. 
Now you know how I feel about sin. Hell no, I don't. Melvin, would you please try and talk some sense in the Captain Save a hoe over there? <laughs> Save a hoe. Well, let me explain something to you, bruh. Love really makes sense. That's what makes it so great. So special. It can help even you, super dummy. <laughs> it makes us all better if we're lucky enough to have it and smart enough to hold on to it. Talk to him, Melvin. Malcolm in love. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day for years. Come on, man. Who is he? Start talking. All right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> you remember that night at the banquet <laughs> for Legion of Black Colleges? Remember that? <laughs> man, there was a girl who danced, Antoinette Grayson. Man, we locked eyes, and it was like nothing I've ever experienced before in life. I mean, she had the most sweetest, kindest, gentlest spirit. It was like I'd known her for years. So what happened? No. <laughs> well, you know I had to put it on her. You put them things in the dog. Well, I like J.D. Walker. Wow, oh, man. I gave her my card. She called me the next morning, and we've been talking nonstop ever since. Well, that's all right. No, no, no. Hold up, man. Hold up. You said you gave her a card. Yeah. You gave her a card. Yeah. A business card. Yeah, man. <laughs> what job you got? <laughs> man, I hope you did not give her that fake-ass real estate card, man. Now, now you don't have to go there. Uh, come on, Malcolm. He's got a point. Now, you better tell her before you go out on a date. And she steps into the ladies' room, and one of the old customers saddles up next to her in the mirror and drops a bomb on her. Hell yeah. Because in the words of the crocodile hunter, you come this close to really getting some. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you straight be doo-dooed on. And believe me, doo-doo does stink. And besides, you sound like something special. And you could use someone in your life to be responsible for. <laughs> oh, no, Melvin, you just killed it all with that word right there. Responsible. <laughs> Man, hell, I'm barely responsible enough for myself. Damn, just the thought of somebody else drives me crazy. Hell, man, I ain't dated a female for free since. Man, since that show with that boy uh, went off the air, that show of uh, Family Matters. You stupid. Well, tell me something, why are you beating yourself up? And beat yourself up when there is an Antoinette, or you leave her for a Helen type, or she leaves you for the next man with a fatter stack and a faster car. Oh, is that why you never got married? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the faster and richer life and everything that came with it. I gambled and I lost. Don't end up like me, Kubrick. Oh, and alone. <laughs> you know, Melvin, you speak the truth. Because you are old. <laughs> but you're never alone. You stuck with me to the end, old man, and I love you. <laughs> you know what? You two always, you know what? I don't need y'all. Oh, okay, I'm going hey, back. I'm back here, man. <laughs> hey, bag oh, check, bag check. We need a bag check. I could have swore I just heard something. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, what the hell are you doing here? Hey, babe, I, I brought lunch. Oh what my God. What are you God. still going to sleep? Don't you know it's 1.30? Eric, I was up late last night choreographing a new routine. Listen, when we got off the phone last night, I thought you knew that I wanted to take today for myself. Oh, I know, honey, and today is still your day, but you know how I get when I don't get my Antoinette fix. Mm -hmm. And Eric, you know how I am if I don't get my alone time. Tony, what is the big deal? Most women would be glad that man wants to spend some time with them. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that I have to compete for your attention, and I don't like that. You knew when you met me I was a busy woman. I have a career. I'm not one of those rich little girls that you used to. I don't just sit around on my butt all day with nothing to do. I keep busy doing the things that I love and have a passion for. Well, your passion should be for me. I mean, really, why don't you just damn this dance and stuff? Just get it out your system. You know I have the money to provide for you anything you could possibly want, so there's no need for you to continue doing these other unimportant things. What? What I do may be unimportant to you, but it means a hell of a lot to me. Okay, look, baby, let's not do this. I'm not doing anything. You don't seem to hear or respect what I'm feeling. Eric, please go. I wanted to be alone today. We can talk about this later. I'm no, we can talk about this now.
Now I get the feeling that things between us seem to be slipping yes. and I just want to know what's wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's a few things I need to think about. Well, if there's nothing wrong, tell me why is it that sometimes you can't be found? Yes. I come by your not place true. and you're not here. I call you, you don't oh, answer. Geez, I God. email you, it takes you days to respond. I sit outside your house some nights and you don't even come home. Now as your fiance, I think you owe me an explanation. I don't owe you anything, Eric. Well, I'm right? a grown ass woman. I'm not a child that you have to keep up with. And besides, I thought we agreed to postpone our engagement for a while to give us both time to think. Oh, no, no, no. That was your idea, not mine. You said postpone, Eric, not terminate. Now, I'm not under any circumstances not giving today. up my commitment to you. I've invested too much into you to just That's let you go. And, ooh, if there's someone else coming between us, oh, all hell is going to break loose. Nobody takes anything away from me. You know what, Eric? I don't like the way that sounds. Well, that is too bad because I can't help the way that I feel. Now, I will do whatever it takes to make sure that the woman I love really loves me. What? And is faithful to only me. Now, you can have all the space you want. Just don't push me away. I want to be in your life and not around it. Fine. And just to show you how much I love you, I had my attorney to drop a prenuptial agreement so we can both feel secure what? in what we're getting. A prenuptial agreement? Yes, a prenuptial agreement. Don't you think this is a little premature? No, not at all. Actually, my family is accustomed to doing things legally. That way, if things don't work out, hey, nobody stands to lose. Mm-hmm. Okay. I get it. Nothing lost, nothing gained. It's just business, isn't it? Yeah, I guess you could say that. My mother and father signed one. It didn't hurt their marriage one bit. You know what, Eric? What? I can't go through with it anymore. What are you talking about? I just don't love you enough for marriage. I've been what? thinking. <laughs> what do you I mean you don't to... love me enough? You can't possibly I'm be sorry, serious. Eric, I just wanted to take a little time to, to reflect and evaluate things. Oh, no, I've been no, feeling no, this way no, for a long no, time, no, but every time no, I want to. No, no, that way. is not acceptable. Eric. After all I've done for you, I mean, you couldn't tell me that before I paid for that expensive-ass dance school. Those clothes that you look so sharp See? in when you walk out the house, I'll pay for well, that. Well, being with you isn't about money, Eric. It never was. Well, money is important to me. I mean, did you think I did all of this for my health? No, Eric. baby, no. I did this because the moment I met you, I wanted you to be my wife. I just needed to make you into something more. Yeah, make me into something more than what I was. Something that you could create and control like strings on a puppet. Well, I'm tired of dancing to your beat, Eric. It's time I create my own rhythm. And you think you can end it just like that? Oh, no, no, no. That is not how it works, You baby. know what, Eric? I can't offer you anymore. Well, how about offering me everything that I paid for then? I knew that was coming. You knew that was coming? What is that supposed to mean? That means that I got a special little bank account put to the side just for you, Eric. <laughs> hey. Baby, come on, baby. We can talk about this, huh? There's nothing else to talk about. Here you go. <laughs> what is this? It's an IOU. Think of it as a payment agreement for everything you paid for. Don't worry, Eric. I will pay you back every penny and more if I have to. And if I slip up, you can take me to court. You know why? Because I signed the bottom. Since you like to do things illegal, I thought you'd appreciate that part. Now get out. <laughs> Eric, can't take So me. all of a sudden, you don't need me. Oh, come on, baby. You and I both know it's not over. Next week, you're going to come crawling on your hands and knees, begging me to take you back. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I never meant for things to be this way, but in time, you'll see that us going out separate ways was best for both of us. It's not fine, about money. Fine, we don't talk. Fine, we don't make love. Fine, fine, fine. If that's the way you feel, all right? Fine. Oh, but you remember what I said. Before it's all over, oh, all hell is going to break loose. Give me my lunch. <laughs> Come over here and wrap those big strong arms around me. <laughs> I've been thinking about being alone with you all day. You feel so good. And we've only just begun. But before we get started, why don't you pour us a drink? I have some good news. All right. Well, that's a switch. I could use some good news. Yes, you were a little distant tonight, but I know how to cheer you up. Here you go. Just the way you like it, baby. Nice and stiff. To us. To us. Okay. Here it goes. I'm leaving Jackson. I want us to be together as a couple. Helen, 
What is it, dear? I'm really flattered and everything, but I don't love you. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Minor detail. I don't love you either, sweetie. <laughs> but however, I do love money and all the things it can buy me. Like a big, fine, strong man that says all the right things and knows how to satisfy my body morning, noon, and night. What could be better? <laughs> I mean, look, what I provide for you is a service, okay? Me, my private life, and my every move is not for sale. Besides, I've been thinking of making some changes of my own lately. Really? What kind of changes? Well, you know, once upon a time, I played the piano, and music is my thing, and I'm thinking about going back to doing it full time. Oh, look, I have a better idea. Why don't you move in with me, let me take care of you, no. and I'll back you. No. You'll have the no. best of everything, no. the best writers, engineers, producers, no, no, whatever no, you Helen, need. No, 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 Helen, you're not listening to a word that I'm saying. Now, this is something I have to do on my own the right way without you. I'm walking away from this lifestyle, and that means you, too. Me? <laughs> oh, sweetie, without me, you'll be broke alone in the cold. <laughs> oh, come on, Malcolm. <sighs> I've been there, and there is nothing inviting about a frostbitten ass. <laughs> when you can have the cash. Oh, come on, darling, I understand what you're going through. Let's not talk about your future. I want to deal in the here and right now. Helen, did you hear what I just said? I'm out of the game. Baby, I'm not talking about game. I'm talking about life. You coming to live with me for good. Malcolm, come and live with me. Let me take care of you. We'll take trips. You'll never have to lift a finger. Helen, I can't do that. It wouldn't be right. Oh, why not? Because I don't love you. Malcolm, I know that. I'm not a stupid woman. And you would be willing to do all of this for me. Knowing that I don't love you. Malcolm, when I was 20, I was beautiful. There wasn't a man around that didn't want me. <laughs> I could see it in their eyes as I waltzed into a room. It's been a long time since I was 20. But when we're together, the way Helen. you look at me, I just Helen. can't help but getting all of those old Helen, feelings it's back again. Just... It's practiced. It's not real. I know that. Baby, life is too short. I just want to be happy. And when I'm with you, I am happy. Helen, it's not real. So, so you're really turning me down? Yes. Yeah, I'm turning you down. Look, don't make this difficult, all right? So, so all I ever was to you was just another trick. No, Helen, we had an arrangement. Excuse me? Look, I gotta go. I don't have time for this, all right? So after all these years, all I ever meant to you were dollars and cents? Helen, stay with Jackson. You got a good man at home? He'll be with you to the end. I don't want a good man. I want a hard one.
again. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and you're right, we ain't been spending enough time together. But I'm gonna change all that tonight. Yes, Wonderful, sir. baby. I love that. I love it about you. <clears throat> hey, I got two movies. I got Harry and the Soldier of the Bone and the Gang Bangers of New York. How about Beloved? Beloved? Yeah, Beloved. Oprah Winfrey and Danny Glover bumping ugly? Yes, honey. Baby, that's a little bit too ugly. What's wrong with the room? Uh, honey, you don't want to watch that. Now, baby, I thought tonight... Well, if you don't want to watch that, we're not watching nothing because I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed, all right? So, good night. <laughs> Ain't this a bitch? What you doing? I don't know what's going on with you, Seth. Now, you've been real distant ever since you came home from your trip. Now, when I come home and I finally want to spend some quality time, time that most women would appreciate, or you want to do a lay in the bed and sleep? Well, for one, I'm not most women. For two, I said I'm tired. For three, I ain't up for this discussion. Now, I said good night. Well, I'm up for this discussion. <sighs> now, your attitude been real shitty lately. <sighs> and you ain't on your period, so you need to stop. Forget all that. We getting ready to handle Oh, no, the hell you did not. Yes, I did. Get in the bed with them big-ass slippers on. Because my feet was cold. No, when you just didn't want them to touch me. Oh, grow up, Simon. Grow up. Grow up. Everything I do ain't got nothing to do with you. Now, what I'm you going think you're doing now? I'm going to my house to get I'll some... You give better me... get, give me my key. Now, keep telling what's going on, Sam. What part of nothing don't you understand? Now, just because you want some ass and I'm tired, something got to be wrong with me. You better give me my key. I'm going to give them to you. Give me my keys. <laughs> Well, just talk to me then. Talk to, why you want to talk now, huh? Why are you trying to fix this now, Simon? Where the hell you been for the last past month when all I had to do was lay in that bed with a big pillow between my legs, read a book, and drink some wine, and thank God for some C batteries. Now shut up and get out of my face. She said all that in one breath? She said, wait a minute, you gonna talk to me? You yet? <laughs> I ain't thought about that in years. <laughs> hey, you know what? I have not laughed this hard in years either. Mm, well, I'm enjoying laughing with you. Mm. And where did you learn to cook like that? Oh, whatever, boy. You know Mars is from Memphis. She told me how to put it down. Mm, you know that. She sure did. Oh, must be why I want to find me a big old shade tree and curl up and go to sleep somewhere. Whatever, Malcolm. You better not fall asleep on me. Malcolm, stop kidding. Malcolm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ain't no way in the world I would let this dream in by counting seeds. No, whatever, Mr. Smoothie. Mm. <gasps> I got something for you. I almost oh, forgot. What you got for me? Hold Come on, here. hold Come on. Here. Where are I'll you going? be right back. One second. Dang. All right. All right. Don't you take too long. You know how black folks get me get good food in our system. <laughs> you come back out here and be sleep. <laughs> hold on. Here I come right now. <laughs> I have something for you. What you got for me? <laughs> ah, I'm about to feed you something. Oh, what you about to feed me? A strawberry dipped in white chocolate. Ah, uh, see, you play too much. Ah. What you doing with a strawberry dipped in white chocolate? Don't you know that's the let me rock your booty fruit? <laughs> What else? No, you gonna give me the booty fruit? Oh, really? Uh. Mm, let me spread it all over you so I can lick you from the rooter to the... Shh. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. Messy. Mmm. And you have it all over you. You want me to get it? Mmm. Did I get it? Mm -mm, you missed something right there. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got lipstick on there. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time a woman made my heart beat this fast. Oh, come on, Malcolm. A guy like you, you must have countless women at your beck and call. I mean, at the banquet alone that night, it was at least like... Ooh, I gotta go. What's wrong with you? What happened? Ain't nothing wrong. There's someone else in here, Malcolm. Ain't nobody else. Come on, Malcolm. A guy like you doesn't have somebody else. I'm not stupid. Tony, if there was somebody know. else, I wouldn't be here right now, huh? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Tony, you are making this hard <sighs> for me, literally. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. The truth is, is that I'm falling in love with you. And every day you seem to be taking up more and more of my thoughts. The truth is, is that I want to use your body as a blank page and kiss poetry all over it for as long as you let me. The 
And I don't know if I'm ready for all of these emotions I got going on inside. I mean, my mind is telling me to go and my heart is telling me to stay. I mean, I, I mean I, it's a lot going on. I don't know who to listen to. And I don't want to. I don't want to rush us. I don't want to confuse love with lust. I've done that far too often. So I think that I'm going to go because the next time I'll come back to you. You like that, huh? The next time I'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. I want you to know it's love that brought me back to you and not lust, okay? Malcolm, I lied because that night that I danced, I felt you. I felt you before I even saw you, so I know this isn't our first lifetime together. And every night since then, I, it, it's been you that I've been dreaming of. <laughs> My stomach turned for three days when I knew you were coming over here, and the truth is, Malcolm, my mouth waters every time I think of you naked. I told you. If you walk out that door right now, the only thing you'll be doing is torturing me. So you can't go. Please don't go. Malcolm. Malcolm, I know your secret. What? I said I know who you really are. Tony, listen, baby, there's, there's some things that we need to see. You're see. the love of my life from a previous lifetime because only a man that has known me for a hundred years can make love to me like that. I know what you mean. Because last night was different for me, too. Really? Yes, it was. I mean, you know, Tony, it's been a long time since I... I mean, you know, that maybe there's, a, there's so many things I want to say to you, but words just seem so used up. Baby, just speak from your heart, okay? Well, you make me feel better than what I really am. You make me want to leave the man I've been my whole life behind and start all over again. Tony... Yes, baby. Do you believe that love can redeem a person? Isn't that what love is all about? I'll see you soon and I'll call you sooner, okay? You better, Malcolm. Because if you pull any of that trifling dog shit on me, I'm going to go thin line between love and hate on your ass. It's not a game. Oh, all right. All right, okay. Bam. Bam. All right. In that case... I guess I'll see you soon, call you soon, and two of your crazy ass the first stoplight I come to, all right? All right. Malcolm, you know you worked so hard yesterday. I was thinking you deserve something to get you through your day. Ta-da. Girl, you better stop playing with me. Mm, 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 mm. You like that, don't you? Oh, I do. It's always the quiet with y'all. Shut up. The second one from the third box, I'm pretty much...
but sure, you can tell from sex, can't you? Yeah, but how did it happen, Sam? Well, how do you think it happened? You want me to draw you a picture? No, Look, I got to be at the news station in 45 minutes. I'm not fully dressed. I'm puking for two, and I'm feeling horrible. Can we please talk about this another time? I gotta go. Uh, see, some, some ain't making a whole lot of sense. Some ain't adding up. Is there something you need to tell me, Sam? Look, you're trying to ask me something, because I ain't got time for this bullshit. All right, is it my baby? Oh. What kind of question is that? What kind of question makes a whole lot of sense, especially when a man knows how his woman's cycle works. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I gotta go. You see you my You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, let me clarify for you. Your last period was three and a half weeks ago. We ain't had sex in four weeks. <laughs> you do the math. Simon. Yes or no? Simon, I... Yes or no? I don't know. You don't know? I'm sorry. <laughs> How long, Sam? How long have I been playing a fool for you? It wasn't like that. It wasn't no relationship or anything Stop. like that. Stop. Stop, because you're getting ready to lie. Simon. What you're saying right now don't even matter anymore. Ain't nothing to talk about. I'm getting ready to go to the bathroom, get dressed. When I come out, you better be gone. Wait a minute. No, just listen to me. It was just one night, one night in New Orleans. He was there for the minister's conference. I was there drunk and I was lonely for you. He started counseling me and it just happened. It didn't mean it. It just happened. Simon, please. I don't even know who you are right now. Calm down. A minister? I guess that was his card I found next to the trash can, huh? Because you ain't never been a religious type. Please. I done knocked him. Please just listen to me. You better be gone by the time I come out. You better be gone. Simon! I'm sorry. I love you, Simon. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Your front door is open, man. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, 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 man. What the hell is wrong with you, man? What you want, Malcolm? Oh, hey, what, 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 what are you doing? Give me this, man. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, what's up, man? Huh? Oh, it's Cynthia, isn't it? She, uh... Um, she's pregnant, man. Oh, she's pregnant? Well, how far along is she? Man, I don't know. Four or five weeks, dog. I don't know, bro. Days. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hearing the good news, I'm not necessarily doing backflips myself. <laughs> but I thought it was what she wanted, bro. <laughs> it's not your baby, yeah. <laughs> you ain't the father. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I ain't the father. And that is a bitch. Man, but if you're getting ready to come with that, I told you, you need to say that. Hey, man, I ain't got to say nothing, all right? You knew the type of broad she was the first time you took her out. She left you faster than an Olympic sprinter when your first club folded, man. Come on. You know she all about the big payday. What, you think it's a coincidence she done come running back to you now that your new club is not only the livest and the hottest, but the most profitable in the city? Simon, wake up, man. Quit tripping and keep it to pimping. Keep it to pimping. You know what, Mel? Mm. I just realized you don't know shit about shit. <laughs> you mean I don't know shit? 
See, it's men like you that plays on women's pain, the loneliness, the weakness for your own damn game. Mr. I'll fix it, baby. Show me where it hurts. Bullshit. No love, no heart, no honor. All lies to feed your own selfishness, to be the man. Oh, excuse me, bro. The maintenance man. Nigga. You just as sad as the women you serve. Oh, oh you, you done, Simon. You done. Is that it? Is that all, huh? <laughs> Truth hurt, don't it? Let me explain something else to you, dog. Remember when the club folded? Cindy Lee, me. That's why I got news for you. I left her because I felt sorry for myself that I couldn't provide for her anymore. But that didn't matter to her. She asked me to marry her, Malcolm. And I said no because I was a coward. So when this new club opened up, I asked her, I begged her to come back to me. Yeah, well, what about now, Simon? What huh? about it, What dog? you gonna do about now? What How you gonna raise another man's baby, huh? What about now? I know you ain't trying to point a finger at nobody. You! <laughs> you ain't never liked sitting in the first place. Because before her, you and I were just two grown-ass men running around the streets like we were still in high school. I grew up, Malcolm. I found somebody who cared about me. But all you could think about was your selfishness and how I couldn't kick it with you no more. You know what, man? You pitiful. That's right. You can't stand being alone. You need to hear this. Because see, being alone to you, the silence of it, just reminds you just how miserable of a fuck up you are. Mm. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that was a good one there, Pimp. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> Pretty nigga, don't nobody need you. <laughs> Before you walk out that door I got something to say to you It's from my heart to yours You say that you want me to leave And you can't take it no
anybody know that the flesh can get out of control? Am I right about it? Can I get an amen? Sometimes when you're by yourself late in the midnight hour, that flesh comes chipping in and it tells you I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of being alone. That's why you gotta watch out for that old flesh. Cause that old flesh will cause you to get in trouble. That old flesh will cause you to have a oops in your life. I'm talking about a oh for opportunity. I'm talking about a peace. Well, I can't talk about that one right now. <laughs> I'm talking about an S for that sin is sin, sin. I heard, oh, I heard a songwriter said, Oops, that goes my shirt over my head. My, my. Oops, that goes my pants down to my feet. Look at your neighbor, look at your neighbor, and say, neighbor, oops, I did it again. Woo, <laughs> yes sir, now look at your other neighbor, and say, neighbor, oh let me hear you, say, neighbor, oh neighbor. Somebody sitting in here right now. You done had a oops in your life. You done had trouble with the flesh. But that's all right. I'm going to give you an opportunity right now to just come on down and show the Lord your heart. Is there anybody anywhere who want to testify? I do. I do, Reverend. Yes, sir. Come on down, brother. Come on down and show the Lord your heart. That don't even matter right now. What matters is my heart is broken. <laughs> my soul is heavy. <laughs> and my way is lost. Well, son, there's no heart that Jesus can't mend. There's no soul God can't lighten. Brothers and sisters, how many know that there's no lost sheep that the Holy Ghost can't find? Am I right about it? Oh, yeah. I don't know, Reverend. Go ahead and testify. See, I had a light in my life. Yes. I had a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, let him use you, brother. Yes, sir. Woo! Let him use you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let him use you. But a man dimmed that light with lust and infidelity. Say what? <laughs> lust. The deadliest of deadly sins. Now, church, I need somebody to help me tonight. Somebody tell me what kind of man, what kind of low down daddy dog, what kind of snake crawling in the grass would 
come between a good man and the light of his life. You! You don't look so good. You're gonna get enough about messing with people's women. Uh, br brother, brother, brother. You don't wanna do this, brother. You don't know what I wanna do. I know you don't wanna go to hell, do you? Cause that's what's gonna happen if you pull that trigger, man. I don't know you or your woman. I don't know you or your woman. Cynthia Reed. New Orleans. Ring a bell. Look, look, brother. I was in New Orleans, man. I was just canceling this young woman. Didn't nothing happen. I swear. I swear, didn't nothing happen, man. Nothing happened. No. Went about eight months. You gonna have to take a DNA. But we gonna find out if nothing happened. Say a, a, a DNA. <laughs> you know what, brother? You must have me mistaken. Brother, you upset. You confused. You crazy. You crazy? No. I'm the craziest nigga you ever gonna meet. I didn't say crazy, I said praise him. You scared, ain't you? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down. <laughs> you, you, you something else. <laughs> this is the pool bed, huh, where you preach the truth from, huh? <laughs> where you say, thou shalt not steal, <laughs> commit adultery, fornication. <laughs> Infidelity. You know what? I think, Reverend, there's too much violence in the world today. You're right, brother. I think too many good people being used yeah. by brothers just like you. Uh -huh. No, no, uh -huh. come on now. You knew this day was getting ready to happen for a long time. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. I got a sixth sense. <laughs> I'm about to see dead people. <laughs> All right, man, all right, all right, all right, man. I did it, I did it, I did it, man. But I was only up in it for about four, maybe five minutes at the most, man. That's all. Well, I guess that counts as an ooh, don't it, Reverend? kill you what you're going through is going to be between you and your God there's too many good ministers doing the work for the Lord brothers like you you ain't even worth it been for the past three days. Don't tell me. One of your married ladies has swept you off to Maui or someplace for an extended weekend. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm done with all of that. I'm shutting down shop for good, Melvin. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, don't play games with an old man, Cole No, Chris. this ain't no game. I'm serious. I'm serious about Tony. So you finally wised up and took my advice, yes, huh? Yes, sir. She's the one, Melvin. I know it. And... She's on her way here right now because I'm going to ask her to marry me today. 
<laughs> That's great, Goofies. This is a day for much praise. Well, but, I, mean, I keep hearing your words over and over again, and what you said to me makes so much sense. I can't remember a day where I felt this good, this blessed. May I come in, or is this men's talk? It is men's talk, but I guess you can come in since we're talking about you. Oh, well, I hope it's all good. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, baby. How are you? Hi, Melvin. Mm -hmm. You know it's all good. I was just telling Melvin it's going to be on tonight because we're going to have us a blockbuster night. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you bring your hammer because I got a block that needs busting. <laughs> Here, watch it now. I'm a man all alone with no woman in my life. I can't take that kind of talk. Now, y'all come sit down over here while I grab some of my finest wine. It's funny how life has a way of making things happen. Just think, a month ago, y'all didn't even know each other. But I could tell that you were something special that night at the UNCF. I guess I didn't know how special. Well, I knew the second I saw her. And any woman that can have cool breeze talking like that. Cool breeze. I wonder who that is. <laughs> I call him that because he's cool like the other side of a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what was I saying? Um, oh, oh, never mind. You know, after 50, it ain't bad enough your sex drive goes, but your mind goes, too. <laughs> well, anyway, you've been taking care of yourself, Miss Antoinette. Oh, no, you don't. Call me Tony. All my friends call me Tony, and any friend of Malcolm's is a friend of mine. Well, okay, Tony. Oh, <laughs> Melvin. And to answer your question, I can't say that I have been taking care of myself. Well, why is that? Well, probably because Malcolm's been doing such a good job doing it for oh, me. That's right, Melvin. I got this. Malcolm. Well, you hold on to it, then. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you been doing any dancing lately? Well, teaching mostly, you know, oh. trying to get these kids ready for a recital. Oh, I'm, I'm a dancer good. too, right? Oh, baby, I done told you over and over again that doing the two-step in the shower with Al Green doesn't exactly count. Oh. <laughs> you wanna bet? You wanna bet what? That I can outdance you. Oh, come on, baby, don't get your feelings hurt now. I've been watching that your feelings. I, I got more moves than Bobby Brown, Melvin. You better tell this oh, girl something. See, see. <laughs> I ain't in it. I'm trying to tell her. What well, leave me out of that. <laughs> Call me. I can outdance the both of you. Ooh, oh boy, see what you done started. Here we go. <laughs> I ain't starting nothing. If Melvin say he can outdance us both, I believe him. Y'all generation don't know nothing about no dancing. Ooh. Now, I might can't dance no ballet, but play brick house. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm working Ooh. with. Let it go here, Melvin. Oh, here, Melvin. I knew you were a little pimp. Pimpin' ain't dead. People just scared. Well, all right, you two pimps. Let's get to the dance floor, because I'm about to take your player's card. Melvin, you don't understand. I got a few moves that I can Can I have this dance? Hey, I'm sorry, man, but we close until 9 o'clock. Oh, that's okay. This isn't a social call. This is business. Eric, what are you doing here? I'm coming to claim my property, Tony. Your property? Look, Eric, I told you it was over between us. What, so, what is this is about? the man you left me for? I thought you had class. Hey, say, man, why don't you go and get up out of here? Hey, don't touch me! Eric, what's getting into you? Me, nothing at all. I just wanted to see the brother that stole my woman. Well, first off, I'm not your brother, guy. <laughs> and secondly, how can I steal what you never possessed? Baby, huh? let me say something. Did she pay you? Was it cash or does your kind take you? The man asked you to leave once. Next time won't be so nice. Oh, I get it. She doesn't know, does she? She doesn't know what? <laughs> uh, mister, I ain't no weatherman, but I'm predicting a shitstorm right about now. Now, I think you need to leave before you're up to your neck. Shut the hell up, old man. And who the hell you think you're talking well, to? Well, that's all right, Malcolm. That's all right. Well, right. Look, Eric. I don't know what's gotten into you, but you need to leave right now. Are you dictating what's things now, Tony? You know it makes it easy for me to so let you go. You. Knowing you could be fooled by designer clothes what? and expensive watches. I love but a ghetto that, street remember? walker and expensive one dress one is still just a hoe. Oh, my God, Malcolm! Oh, 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 Malcolm, stop it! Malcolm! Malcolm! Talking about this making you so angry. I'll tell you what it is. 
He's a fucking prostitute, that's what. And he's damn good, too. Let's see, I bet he told you he was a, a real estate agent, right? Stupid little girl. Your man doesn't sell land. He sells USDA Grade A Prime Black Angus Beef. <laughs> the one hanging between his legs. You never told her. What are you talking about? What are you saying? Oh, I'm saying that your man is everybody's man. He goes to the highest bidder. Yeah, what's that name they call you? The uh, plumber, the gardener, <laughs> the maintenance man. Right, it's You know what? what? I've just about had enough of your ignorant ass. Now you get the hell out of my place of business! You actually think I was gonna let somebody take you away? Ouch. If I can't have you, nobody can! Tony, baby, you gotta listen to me. I quit the day I met you. That's a lie. He just stopped until two no. weeks ago. Helen, shut the hell up and get out of here now. Oh, my God. Tony, listen to me, baby. I can explain. I just need you to listen but to me. I promise you. I didn't... No, no, no. This is all wrong. This ain't supposed to happen. Nothing go after. Don't let her get away. But the difference doesn't make me open. She knows what I am now. I can't change that. That's right. You can't change it. People like us will always be people <laughs> that, like that us. That ain't true, Malcolm. Just listen to me. No, but I put myself out there my heart on the line because I listen to you. I, I'm done listening to you, man. What the hell do you know about love? No, I, I know. No, you don't know, Mel. You listen to me. You don't know shit. No. Mm, Malcolm. Malcolm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Melvin. 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 My God, Melvin. Hold on, Melvin. God, Helen, help me. Helen, dial 911 now. Melvin, you got to hold on. Please. Melvin, please. You don't. Somebody help me. What's the prognosis? And they said you'd be up and chasing 20-year-olds by the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, right. How you feeling? Like Sonny Liston busted me in my chest and stopped my heart. You're talking about stop hearts. What are you doing here? What's it look like I'm doing in here? I'm looking after you, old man. Why ain't you out there chasing that girl and telling her that you're sorry? Oh, let it go. That's over, man. It ain't over until it's over. Do you love her? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell by the light in your eyes whenever you talk about her. She's the one. Yeah, but it doesn't make a difference now. She's gone. I can't change that. Malcolm, as long as you're alive, you can change it. I see so much of me and you. <laughs> they, there was one girl that came into my life that was special. She was a beauty. Had a sparkle in her eye that could make the brightest stars jealous. She loved me. I don't know why, but she did. She loved me with every inch of her soul. But I couldn't love her back. I wasn't ready to commit myself to one woman. I was too busy chasing Kitty and Cash, Cool Breeze. I told her, sometimes love don't love you back. That broke her heart and her spirit. So much so that Two days and a bottle of pills later, she was gone. The worst part was once she was gone, I realized how much <laughs> I really loved her. And I spent a lifetime trying to replace what was irreplaceable. But she's everything I've ever wanted. Well, then stop your whining and go after your woman before I get out of this bed and beat your ass. <laughs> don't end up like me, son. But don't find yourself dying alone like me. Come on, Melvin, stop talking like that. You ain't going nowhere. And you're not alone. I'm right here with you. 
He's still working on that song for me. Yeah, I'm still working on your song. That song gonna win one of those Oscars, Emmys? Yeah, it's gonna win all of that Oscar, Emmy, <laughs> everything. Let me hear a little of that. I believe in you. You believe in me. All things are possible. There's nothing we can't do. Nothing we can achieve. Melvin. No. I, um, I didn't expect you to be here. Still my house, Annie. Uh, I got your message saying that you wanted to get the rest of your things, so I came over to make sure that was all you were going to take. Come on, Simon. I know you don't expect me to go as low as to steal from you, do you? I don't know, Sam. How low were you going, your fiancé? Get drunk, sleep with a minister, get yourself pregnant. I sure didn't think your scandalous ass was going to come up here and fluff my pillow. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. I just came to get my things. No, no, no. You don't deserve that. But what you do deserve... It's to spend the rest of your life in hell. For the shit you putting me through. I work my ass off day in and day out. Trying to give you the life that you always dreamed about. And you know what? I didn't even think I was good enough for you. So I worked harder to be worthy. To be the type of man that you'd be proud of that our kids can look up to. And then one night, your little trifling behind wanted to destroy everything. I tried to talk to you. No, no, no. You can save all that crying for the Reverend, your little bastard baby. Oh. Now get your shit and get out. Fuck you. Now fuck you, Sam. I trust you. You trusted me. You trusted me when? When did you trust me? Tell me. When did you have any time to pay any attention to me? Tell me, Simon. I give it to you in the beginning. Things were great. They were wonderful. But in the last couple of years, everything you did, even before the first time we broke up, everything you did revolved around work. I needed somebody for me, somebody to love me, somebody to look at me and tell me that I'm beautiful, somebody to make passion and love to me. That's what I needed. I'm not a superwoman. Damn it! I needed you. I needed you. You done? I gotta go to work. <laughs> go to work. My keys. You know what? I don't blame you for hating me. Because there's no excuse for what I've done. I'm not even trying to make one. I'm trying to tell you that my heart was with you. My heart will always be with you. I never loved him. He was a substitute for the man that I love. I wanted you. I just couldn't reach you. You should have tried. I did try. You didn't try hard enough. What else could I have you done? You could have tried harder. Oh God, I'm all out of answers now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let you down. Simon, I was always proud of you. I never wanted your money. Or the things that you could do for me, or the things that you could give me. Simon, I wanted you. Sim, wait a minute. What? When is the baby due? The baby is doing able, but you don't have to worry about my baby because I'm Sim, gone. wait a minute. I'm trying to talk to you, please.
doing? I'm stepping up and I'm being the man you needed me to be. I know you tried to reach me, but I was working so hard. I thought if I could support you financially, that's all that would matter. But I know it takes more than that. As a man, I am so sorry for what I've done to you. I love you so much, baby. Love you too. Thank you so much. I love you too. I love you. And I respect you so much. I just, What's wrong? I want you to take. I don't want us to jump into anything. Just take a few days to think about Sin, this. I don't need to think about anything. Because this is not your baby. And you got to raise somebody else's child. That's a big Sin, thing. Don't That's do a this big to me. Job, okay? Not now. Just think about Wait this. a minute, baby. Wait a minute. Sit, let me talk to you. Uh uh. Wait a minute. Sit. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, okay? I, I just. I was blind, but I could not see that I wasn't there in the way you needed me to be, baby. I wanna spend my life trying to make things right by you. So you will see, oh baby, that I love you, girl, more than you will know. You better sing it, baby. And when you were away from me, my world just wasn't so. Baby, give us a second chance. The best is yet to come for you. So sorry for the things I've done wrong. Oh, oh, I love you, yes I do, yeah. Forgive me. Please forgive me. Sing it right here, man. I was broken. When we were apart for I Knew you were the one for me From the very start oh, All the money that you ever made It didn't mean one thing for you You already had my heart yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you were trying Trying to
Sorry to hear about Melvin. Yeah, he liked you a lot. He said you had class. Well, you definitely can't tell if a person has class just by looking at them, can you? How's the dance class going, Tony? What are you doing here, Malcolm? Look, this is hard for me too, okay? Fine. The kids are getting better every day. I'm sure they are. You're the teacher. How can they not be? In six months' time, they won't be moving. In six like months, they won't even remember me. Of course me. they won't. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Tony, why are you talking because like this? Because I'm moving. That's why. Moving? Where you moving to? If you must know, Atlanta. Tony, don't do this. Why not, Malcolm? Give me one reason to stay here. Us. Because no matter what I did in the past with all those other women, it doesn't make a difference. Because the only time I ever made love in my entire life was when I was with you. You know what, Malcolm? Everything you say sounds like a lie. It's not. It's the truth, and it's all I have left. I swear. You know what? I can't understand, Malcolm. Ever since our people were dragged to this country, our flesh has been used as currency, and here you are—a bright, articulate young man who can make anything of himself—and and you choose to be a. Why, Malcolm? Because sometimes we're chained to our past, no matter what. And what in the hell is that supposed to mean? Tony, as far back as I can remember, my father cheated on my mother. He broke her heart over and over again. I was nine years Malcolm, old. Malcolm, nine when the Johnsons moved in next door to my family. Mrs. Johnson was gorgeous, beautiful. Every man on the block wanted her, and Mr. Johnson was always gone. And it seemed like Mrs. Johnson always needed my daddy to come to the house and fix something for her conveniently when my mama wasn't working. Oh, maintenance man, like father, like son, huh? Tony, I hated him for it. I hated him so much, but I kept my resentment buried deep down inside because he was my father. And I would pray to God that he would change him, but my prayers would go unanswered until one day. One day, Mr. Johnson decided he was going to come home from work early. And I saw his car coming up the block. Tony, I saw him. I could have warned my father, but I thought, no, he needed to be taught a lesson. What does this have to do Well, I'd heard a gunshot before, but never a 45 and never that close. And the gun went off and Mrs. Johnson was screaming. Then there was another gunshot, Mrs. Johnson was silent. Then there was another gunshot, and there was nothing. And I ran next door as fast as I could. And when I got there, I found my father laid out in a pool of blood, Tony, and he slipped away in my arms. In my arms. I did it because I wanted to be my father. I did it because I wanted to hurt his lovers. I did it because I wasn't man enough to be anything else until I met you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. It's too much, okay? I can respect that. I can respect that. That's a lot to put on a person. You right. You know, it's kind of funny because my granddaddy was a player. My daddy was a player. And now here I come. Now I'm just played. It's not funny, Malcolm. It's not funny at all. Tony, right? all I'm saying is that I never really had a shot. I've had to face death three times. Malcolm, First I the have death to of go. my father, then the death of Melvin, and now the death of my very own soul. Because when I broke your heart, something inside me died too. Tony, don't you understand? You made me believe again. You made me believe that anything was possible. That I could be the musician I always wanted to be. You understood my passions and you made me forgive my pain. I just hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me one day. Malcolm, you lied. To me. Because I was afraid, Tony. Afraid? Afraid of what? That if you knew the truth, I wouldn't have had a chance. What do you Haven't mean? you ever been in a crowd of people but you still felt alone? No. Well, that's the life of a player. And then you came along and you changed all of that in one instant just by smiling at me. And when you smiled at me, it was like bright warm sunshine on a cold winter morning. Something as simple as a smile. I'm sure. I'm sure I wasn't the first woman to smile at you, Malcolm. A smile is in the eyes. That small glimpse of the soul you see. Welcome. And when you smiled at me, I wanted to tie my star to your star. And until that moment in time, I never wanted to be attached to anyone or anything. 
what scares me, Malcolm, is how can one man that has had more women than any man could dream of fall in love with just me? I don't want to. Tony, somebody really did a number on you. Because you don't know just how special you are. I don't, I don't know much about God and that sort of thing, but I know he doesn't make any two raindrops or snowflakes that fall alike. And I know in my heart he made you special just for me. <laughs> See, I'm a man who's had my share of life's ups and downs. I was lost until the day you came around. Girl, I took one look at you, and right then I knew my heart had finally found the one who was designed for me. See, I may not know much about God, but I believe it is His plan for me right here, right now, to take a stand. And I want to let you know from this day forth, I want to be your man. And I can't if you let me be. You're the one for me, yeah. It doesn't take much for one to see that I was made for you. From your head down to your toes Beauty from inside it really shows It really does All of your most inner thoughts Your most secret place I wanna get to Too old to be I know like that's that. right. <laughs> Boy. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, Simon, Thank you, you Melvin. Can, you can still cut a rug, boy. Nope, the rug was cutting me. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy, man. Man, you don't know how good it was to see your face coming through that door, dog. Oh, man. Shoot, I'm glad you up in this piece. Man, you know, uh, 
It's a shame it took Melvin passing away to pull us back together. Yeah, man. I really miss him, man. Yeah, I miss him too. And that stuff we went through, dog. Let all that go. We boys forever. For life, man. Yeah, you don't have to hit me that hard, though, dog. <laughs> you know I'm getting ready to get up and get you. You know. Man, you cut me deep, man. How you been holding up, though, dog? Man, I was doing all right till I found out he left me the club, and then I just broke down, man. I've had to deal with pain before, but it don't make a difference how many times you dealt with it. It always seems brand new, you know? Man, tell me about it. I got no pain to last me for 20 years now. As soon as that pain turn 18, it's gone. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, man, I'm not laughing at your pain. I'm laughing at that crazy shit you pulled on Reverend Feelgood. <laughs> You're lucky your nutty ass ain't end up in jail. Man, please. Police trying to protect him now from them other mad, angry husbands. Oh, like that? Like that. Shh. Pray the Lord. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad to see you and Cynthia working things out. We are working it out, matter of fact. Here she come now. Look at her. Old stallion. Yeah, man, it's all about honesty and forgiveness. You know that, right? How you Hi, doing? Hi, honey. Baby? How are you? Let me get that for you right there. Man, but I might as well go on. I'm sorry, man. I'm still thinking about it, dog. I might as well go on and tell you, man. Me and Sin getting ready to get married next month. Hey, congratulations, Thank you two. You. I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Yeah. You my friend now? Oh, man. <laughs> you gonna play something, dog, or what? Yes, I am. I'm gonna play permanently right here at the club because Melvin would have wanted it that way. Malcolm. Helen, look, I don't need any look, more I didn't drama, come here okay? to start any trouble. I just came to pay my respects and to say thank you. For what? For helping me realize that I have a good man at home. And Jackson is one. Listen, Malcolm, I hope that you can forgive me. Don't mention it, Helen. Good. You take care of yourself. You too. I'll see you around. <laughs> Dang, that's Jackson? <laughs> Woo, she'll be back. <laughs> you gonna play some man or what, dog? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go play, man. <laughs> you are? So what you gonna play? It's an original. It is? Yes, it is. All right, let me hear it. <laughs> you. <sighs> yes. You feeling that? Sounds good, Malcolm. Listen, I want you to be the baby's godmother and everything. Oh, God! Mm -hmm. I'll be one of my bridesmaids. Tony, please don't leave. Just hear me out. Malcolm, I can't stay. I just came to pay my respects. Like I told you yesterday, I'm moving, okay? Tony, do you love me at all? I can't love you, Malcolm. Why? Because I can't trust you, that's why. Because everything you say are just words, words that don't mean anything. Okay, all right, then let me stop talking. Let me stop talking. Malcolm. <laughs> Stop talking, and let me show you, let me spend the rest of my life showing you, proving to you that I've changed. Tony, I love you, and I can't help the way I feel about you. I look forward to loving you every minute, every second, every hour of the day. Baby, let me. I'm scared, Malcolm. I don't want to end up hurt and alone. Tony, I'm scared, too. I ain't never been in love before, but I'm ready, baby. No. I'm ready to take that chance in order to be happy. Really. Look, when I first met you, I told you you would have been better with an accompanist. I was wrong. You're perfect just the way you are. It's me who needs the accompanist. Be that for me. Be my accompanist. Be the rhythm of my music. Be the one I live to love. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I just don't know how to forgive you, all right? But I don't know how to live without you either. What should I do? Give me a chance. Give me a chance. I've already given I, I, I asked you once if you thought that love could redeem a person, and you said... Isn't that what love is all about? But what does that have to do with anything? If you still feel that way in your heart, then let me show you I can be the man you need me to be. I'm not asking you for any favors. I just need you to love me. One day at a time. And every morning at dawn, we can start anew. And if I'm not worth loving by dust, then you can leave me. One day at a time.
Well, that's all I can give you, Malcolm. I can't promise you anything else, but hell, if somebody got to make an honest man out of you, it might as well be me. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, ah. <laughs> yes. Ah. Well, you better get you some more of that. You only got till dust. <laughs> You gotta get home, man. The baby, you gonna play something for us or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play. I, I'm, actually, you gonna have to ask the lady. Me, sure, but only if I can accompany you. Thanks. Malcolm, I love you. Today. <laughs> Everyone, <clears throat> this song was dedicated to the two men who taught me everything I know about life and music. To my two fathers, Joseph Trammell and Melvin Butler. <clears throat> and to the woman who taught me the meaning of true love. My love. Life has brought about a change. Now I'm no longer the same. Just when I was about to give up, I found my one true love. And the love we share was real and pure. At first I didn't know it, but now I'm sure that you were meant to be mine. And I Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. 